Hello, Gareth here, and this is the last day of my exhibition. So I just want you to have a look, and uh, it's been a pretty good exhibition. I'm in a big department store, and uh, it's gone pretty well. Um, but of course, you always want it to go better. I'm feeling a bit tired because I've been coming here for a full seven days and each day eight hours so I'm really whacked but um, I'll show you some of what I've done I've got a little table here and I'm working here there you go got my water bottle and my picture and then my photo this is a painting of Takata which is a traditional town in Japan and here's my palette okay so here are my paintings so let's have a look so this one is Yufui and here's a rickshaw and I did quite an abstract sky for this one and this one this one is a road in uh, Kuju at night and I really liked seeing this headlight behind a tree, car headlight and the road became like a mirror I thought that was very beautiful and uh, some people like that that experimental type mm, so piece of advice about doing exhibitions sometimes people like your experiments so don't be afraid to show them okay this one is Beppu and it's a concrete river but I just quite liked it and then this one is uh, Beppu Bay and we've got a boat going back to Beppu and it's evening time and you've got this lovely contrast of uh, gold and blue okay and then down here we've got Nishikimachi which is where I live and we've got all these power lines but I found it kind of nice just that view and then here we've got a cafe where I sometimes go and exhibit my work and then here I've got this road it's called Route 10 I think and uh, it's near where I live and uh, it's uh, I just like road surfaces and I like to paint them so okay and let's continue so here we've got like a, a sky that I just imagined but I quite like that and then I've got some paintings here of Sasaba which is a beautiful place in uh, Nagasaki and it has over 200 islands so this is a colorful one done at evening time here's another one a bit cooler and then maybe my favorite this one I think the balance is lovely and I just love the shape of these islands just so beautiful and interesting and all this sparkly sea love it and then this is a castle in Oita where I live and here's another one and then this is one of my favorite things and maybe I'll make a project of this a series we've got these water jets outside the train station and um, as well as water coming out you've got mist and you've got lights and uh, children running through the mist and becoming these vague shapes it's amazing and at evening time it becomes really surreal and beautiful so I've done one child here slightly disappearing into the mist so I really really like that one that will probably become a big series I think it's just so so exciting really really love it and then this is Matama and uh, this is beautiful at um, evening time really really beautiful place and I love the golden colour of the water and the reflections very peaceful place and then here this is Inukai and uh, just a small Japanese town in the countryside 
and I just love to paint old men, farmers, and especially doing something. And uh, I love also smoke. I, th I think smoke looks very, very beautiful. And uh, you often get fires in the countryside and these beautiful plumes of smoke going up into the sky. So yeah. And final thing. Let's go, 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 go. Here. So once again, this is Kuju at evening time and the reflections of the car on the road surface. I really like that. Maybe I need to develop that a bit more, but still, I like that picture a lot. And then here, Sasebo again, and I just love this island shape. Just a bit obsessed with that. And then here we go, another one of Sasebo. And this is from a view slightly high up at evening time. Very, very beautiful. And then this one is Yufui. And I just had this glowing tree. I really, really like painting that. So there you go. So, that's my exhibition, uh, final day. I uh, hope you found this interesting. And uh, any points about doing an exhibition? Uh, if you can, have good frames. I received these frames and they're really good. With thick mats, you really want a thick mat. And um, have the frames the same kind of frame. I, I think that's good. Also, I think it's good to do experimental paintings. Well, show your experimental paintings. Um, don't show just the safe stuff. Show um, things you've done that are a bit, a bit experimental. And if you're not experimenting, then it's a good idea to do some experimenting. So I recommend that. And um, also check that your hooks on the wall are secure. Here, no problem, but some places you have to be careful. And then it's really important to have labels for everything and title and price is so important. Title and price. And uh, if you can be at the event, that's also good. And um, if people are looking, then go up and uh, chat with them and also try to listen to what they say about your paintings and remember that because that will tell you what they like about your paintings. So people often say about my paintings that they're very peaceful and so I think if you want in your house uh, an, a painting that really gives you a deep sense of peace and calm then maybe my painting would be a good painting. And uh, also people who, from this area, they know these places. And so sometimes they, they like these paintings because they know these places. So that's another thing. And um, I think also they like the colors a lot. So I think they find the colors very, um, also very peaceful. And they like that a lot. So there's nothing else I can think of. I hope this is useful and bye for now. And I hope if you're having an exhibition, you have a really good one. Bye.